Hey everyone. Today we're diving into an exciting new tool called Fragments by E2B. You might have seen my previous video on Bolt.new, but Fragments takes things in a new direction. Not only is it completely free right now, but it's also open source. Fragments lets you build beautiful UI components directly in your browser without writing a single line of code. You simply prompt it in plain English and it generates the UI for you. It's that simple. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. Fragments is just like Claude Artifacts. Claude Artifacts, as you know, can write code for you instantly. What makes it even more impressive is that it gives you a live preview directly in your browser without needing to paste it into your editor or run a development server. Here, for example, we're creating a web page with Claude Artifacts and the preview is generated right in front of us. No setup required. Now let's talk about Fragments. It offers the same ease of use with one major difference. You're not limited to the Claude model. You can choose from a range of AI models depending on your needs. And just like that, you can preview it live in the browser, make your tweaks, and once you're happy with the result, simply import the code and start using it in your project. All right, so this is the main page. And here we're going to be trying out Fragments. First, what you'll want to do is go ahead and sign in. It's super easy. Just choose Google to sign in. Once you're signed in, you can start creating anything you want right away. What I'll be doing is taking an app idea from Claude AI and simply inputting it here. So here you can see the idea for the recipe app. We're going to take this concept and start building it out using fragments. Here you can see the different personas that this AI will use. You can select a persona if you're aiming to build a specific type of app, and this will help you get things done much quicker. Here are the models you can use to build your app, and right now they're all free. There might be rate limits, but no paid plans yet, so we're using them for free. All right, let's initiate the generation process. Once it's completed, we'll be able to see the results and see what has been created for us. The website has been generated and it looks nice overall. However, I've noticed a couple of issues. The text is overflowing out of its designated box and the site lacks color. Let's address these issues and implement the necessary changes. We're currently facing a responsiveness issue, so for now, we'll zoom out and move forward with implementing other changes. As you can see, I'm going to implement some UI changes to improve the look and feel, making it more visually appealing. We've got some image issues and we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We're just going to ask to remove the images and see what results we get from that. So, here's the final result. The design is clean and well-organized. Colors are nicely applied and the sections are clear. Overall, it looks really nice. What's more, you can directly deploy to E2B without any hassle. This is the Gemini website. We're going to create a clone using Fragments. First, we'll take a screenshot and then paste it into Fragments to start. We've pasted the screenshot and now we'll ask it to replicate the design and create a functional version. The AI is processing everything for us. The Gemini clone looks incredibly accurate, almost like the original. The layout and structure are spot on. Now we'll make a few UI adjustments such as adjusting the colors to refine it even further. All right, after those tweaks, the site looks spot on. Everything's polished now and honestly, it feels just like the original. It's looking great. Okay, so as you know, we previously talked about how this was open source and you could actually run it locally on your own device. 
So now this is the GitHub repo, and I am going to tell you about that. Here you'll be able to see the features that it offers, and also they provide a very nice installation guide, which can easily help you set it up locally. In the instructions, you'll see that you need to clone the repository, install the dependencies, and then handle the API keys. You'll need an API key from E2B, which you can easily obtain by signing up on their website and heading to the API section. The keys are provided to you for free. After that, simply start the development server on your machine and you'll be all set to go. As we wrap up our look at Fragments by E2B, remember that with the rapid advancement of AI tools, this is just the beginning. Many more amazing tools are on the horizon and we'll feature them all here on our channel. These innovations have the potential to change our lives in meaningful ways, making tasks easier and more efficient. Stay tuned for more exciting updates and let's explore how AI can truly enhance our everyday experiences. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep exploring.